Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you an overview of Microsoft Project. So first of all, what is Microsoft Project all about? Well, it is a tool that helps project managers to manage their project from start to finish. It can give them an insight into the duration of their project, the cost of their project, the resource allocation for their project, and all the different things that you would want to know as a project manager about your project. It's a fairly unique tool. The way I like to think about it, for those of you that haven't really used it before, would be it's a cross between an Excel spreadsheet and an access database designed for project management. So as you can see here, I have a very detailed project schedule on the screen. And what this allows me to do is outline my entire project from start to finish. You can see I have a whole list of things here. I can have the phases of the project, some tasks within the project, key milestones within the project. And you know you can roll those up and down like so. The nice thing and the key thing that Microsoft Project does that not all other software does that I mentioned earlier is it gives you access to the dates. It provides you with dates. Those dates are always flexible. So for example, if I find out it's going to take me longer to do the foundations, instead of two weeks, it's going to be four. I can push that out and it'll actually dynamically update all of the other tasks on my project. In addition to this, we can see the resources working on my particular project. I can see any predecessors and successors. Those are the tasks that come before your project, that's before your task, and the tasks that succeed this task. So once this task is done, these ta subsequent tasks can then be completed. The nice thing about it is you can actually color code certain things. So rather than having to come in and manually color code everything, for example, my summary tasks here, these are all highlighted in green. That is done systematically, right? Uh, I can color code my milestones to make them pop and I don't have to come in and update those like you would in Excel, right? So it's dynamically gonna do that. If I make this task here a milestone by saying it's gonna be zero days, it instantly becomes a milestone. And you can see on this schedule, it is now represented by a diamond. Let's take a look at that. So if I pull over the nice thing about Microsoft Project, you put in the tasks, you put in the duration, you link those tasks together, I have videos and all of that kind of stuff. It provides for you a dynamic Gantt chart. In fact, if I want to see my entire project, I can use these things called views and, and look at my project in different ways. So you can see my entire project there. In fact, you can see I collapse some of it down. If I expand that out now, I can see the various different things going on. So, you know, we're waiting on this particular milestone for the planning to be complete before we can do anything, right? So you can see the different areas of my project and what's going on. And you can see the dependencies between the tasks on your project and those key milestone dates all in one easy to view spot. Really nice. You can track lots of different resource types. So you can track the people working on your project. You can track the uh, materials being worked on your project. And you can also track fixed costs on that project as well. I have other videos on resource planning. Take a look at those. They're pretty informative there. So other things that make Microsoft Project really powerful for project managers. I'm trying to sell you on the product right now. It's very old. It's been around a long time. It has a good pedigree. Um, is the views, right? So we were in the Gantt chart view. There are other views available as well. For example, the resource sheet. Who's working on my project? What resources do I need? What are my fixed costs? For example, Big Diggers Inc. That's a fixed cost. They're going to come and dig stuff for me. I pay them a fixed fee and we move on. Tom Henry is a, a what we call a work resource. He charges $75 per hour. And if I wanted, I could put overtime rates and stuff like that in here as well. That's another view, the resource sheet view. If you want to kind of cross those views over and see what tasks have what resources, what resources are working on which tasks within my project, I can do that as well. You see here, Tom Henry is working on all of these different tasks. Krista is working on these tasks. I can flip that and look at the task usage view. So uh, I can see here's the task and who are the people working on it as well. If I expand this out. Um, some other views. We have a calendar view. 
So if you want to see it in a calendar, some people love calendars. You can do weeks, you can do months. It depends on the granularity of your project and how much detail you want to get into. Network diagrams. Those of you that are familiar with network diagrams, you can zoom in and zoom out and see what's going on with your project. Where's the critical path through your project? And that's automatically calculated by Microsoft Project. The other things I like about this tool is we can go back to the Gantt chart view and I can use these outlines and collapse everything up quickly and expand everything out quickly. See at the high level, my phases and my milestones, and I can expand those out using this outline button to see everything. On the Gantt chart, I can see the completion status of the tasks within my project as well. I can see this one's almost done. These ones are already complete. Some of these are complete. We're a bit behind on some of these. We can track the project end to end. So as tasks become marked as complete, you can do that in various different ways. You can track how many hours have been worked, how many hours are left, or you can track just a typical percentage of that task that's been completed. You see, I just come in here and said, this one's done, structural design's done. You can track when that actually finished and actually started as well. You can also track in here baselines for those who would like to keep up with where should we be by now? Are we on track compared to what we originally promised our managers? You can do that kind of stuff in here as well. Come to the project and you can set baselines and you can even view those baselines right here in the Gantt chart as well. If you wanted, you could come in to the, uh, you can click on that, I'm gonna drop down here for baseline and you can see the last one I saved and you can see those side by side with the tasks. So that if certain tasks do in fact slip, or, or we pull them forward, you'll be able to see this one's actually been extended a little bit here. Let's make that a bit more apparent. So it's 18 months, let's make it 21 months. You can see the baseline stays the same, but the overall duration expands. So really, really cool stuff there. What else? Well, Microsoft Project can do pretty much anything you wanna do from a project management perspective, right? So if we wanna track the costs, we have a, a view dedicated to that. If I click on the view ribbon, I can come in here and look at the different tables. The tables is kind of like your Excel piece of it, right? On the left-hand side, the, you can come in here and look at costs. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so what's going on from a cost perspective for my project? Are we on track? Are we over budget? Things like that. In fact, we don't really have many costs. But, oh, there we go. There's our costs here. We can see the foundations. What did we expect to pay? What did we capture in the baseline? And you can update those baselines as things change as well if you wanted to. You can track all the costs, you can track labor hours, you can see how many hours it took versus how many hours did we plan for it take to work on a complete on a, a particular task, things like that. All of these tables are here. You can see the variance between what did you plan for and what are we currently looking at. It's a pretty cool table. The reason I'm going into this is Microsoft Project presents you with all kinds of information around your project. All you need to do is come in, put in the tasks, put in the duration of their tasks, link those tasks together, assign some resources, track how much those resources charge per hour, and then update the project as it goes along. Set the baseline so you know where it should have been, where are we today, and that's it. It captures all these things for you. You can export these Gantt charts. You can build a timeline to show your high level information. Let me take a look at that one for you. I think you'll like it. So we come to the Gantt chart view now. I can come up here and click on timeline <coughs> and we can add key phases and stages and milestones to my timeline. In, in a couple of clicks, we could probably do that. If I come down here, click in my project, outline level one, let's take just one. Hold down the shift key, planning, Olympic, aquatic, right click, add to timeline, boom, I can now see high level. Where's my project at? In this nice timeline view, I can export that, put it into a PowerPoint presentation. It gives you all of that reporting capabilities. There's also a whole tab dedicated to different reports. I have a, a whole video on this, on report uh, on report building in Microsoft Project. So just take a look at it. You can build out all your standard PMI stuff, burn down charts and stuff like that. All right, that's my overview. That's kind of like my key selling points on why somebody should use Microsoft Project versus in Excel or, or some other online tool or whatever the case may be, you know, take a look at it, download a free trial from the Microsoft website, get involved, it's a great product. Have a good day.